Hi students of class 7 uh, last week we have done chapter 1 uh, today in this class we will go to start chapter 2 that is number system uh, I think everyone has gone through chapter 1 uh, read the chapter um, gone through the book exercise and the question answer uh, so let us start chapter 2 uh, chapter 2 number system uh, we already have learned that the computer can understand only the two digits that is 0 and 1 that is called the binary digits that means computer can only understand the binary language now whatever we type any letters any numbers that is converted into the binary digits 0 and 1 one, to make the computer understand all the instructions that we give, all the data that we give to the computer, the computer converts it into 0 and 1 and then only the computer system can understand the data and instruction what we want to say. Okay, now let us start the chapter. What is number system? In our daily life, we also use this number system. Now, the daily use number system that we use is the decimal number system. That means we count from 0 to 9. We got the digits from 0 to 9. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is called the decimal number system. Now what is number system? Number system is a set of values which are used used to represent different quantities. Whatever number system we use, we use it as a set of values to represent any type of quantities. For example, suppose we want to count the number of students in a class. It is used, it is done by the help of number system. How many fingers do we hand uh, do we have in two of our hands? How many fingers do we have in two of our toes? How can we do that? Using the number system only, we can represent this number of quantities. Okay, now there are, except the decimal number system, we have other number systems used also. Like the binary number system, the octal number system, the hexadecimal number system. These are the number system used other than decimal number system. Now the decimal number system is general. A general number system is the decimal number system. However, the computer used the binary number system. They also use the octal and the hexadecimal number system in the form of binary number system. This thing we will learn in this chapter. Now, every number system has a set of digits and a base. Suppose the decimal number system. How many digits are there? There are 10 digits. 0 to 9. Okay. And a base that is called the 10. It is, called, it is the 10 base number system, the decimal number system. The base of a number system is the total number of digits available in it. As we have 0 to 9, that means 10 digits we have. That means 10 is the base of the decimal number system. Binary number system. How many digits we have? 0 and 1. That means 2 digits. That means 2 is the base of the binary number system. Octal number system. That means we have 0 to 7. How many digits we have? Count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 digits we have. So 8 is the base of the octal number system. Now the value of the digits can be determined depending upon the position they occupy in the number. Okay. The value, the particular digits value. How can we determine that? We can determine that by the position they are occupied in the number. Now the value of each digit in the number can be found out using three points are there page 16 go through it the three point first the digit itself 
then its position in the number and then the base of the number system this three things we this three things we need to find the value of each digit in a number i am telling the points once again the value of each digit in the number can be calculated by first the digit itself using the digit itself then its position in the number and the base of the number system clear i think now i will explain you the decimal number system okay before that the base of the number system is also called its radix radix is called the base of any number system okay this is the quick bite of page number 16 so underline it you have to learn the spelling radix r a d i x radix is called the base of any number system now coming to the decimal number system now decimal number system decimal number system has 10 digits 0 to 9 and its base is 10 so it means any numerical quantity can be represented using this 10 digits now every digit represent a value the value of any digit from 0 to 9 suppose a 0 the value of 0 is 0 the value of 1 is 1 as it, it will continue this value is called the phase value of the digit you have done it in maths also the value of each digit is called the phase value of the digit okay next coming to every digit in a number also has a value depending upon its place in the number this is called the place value of the number okay phase value the value of each digit is the phase value of the number and the value depending upon its place in the number is called the place value of the number now you understood the difference between the phase value and the place value place value depends upon the position in the number and phase value is the number itself the digit itself is the phase value of the number now next in a decimal number system the successive positions to the left of the decimal point is represented by unit tens uh, 100 1000 10000 in this way it moves thus in any number suppose we take uh, let's take the example of the book 69 Six is in the tens place and nine is in the ones place. That means the value of six is sixty and the value of nine is nine. Okay. Now how can uh, we we are getting the value sixty? That means the tens place. That means six into ten and nine is in the ones place. That is nine into one. In this way we are calculating. next each position represent a specific power at the base of 10 then how can we are representing page 16 the last yellow color line is there how can we represent the base of each position first we have 1 that means 10 to the power 0 next tens place we have 10 that means 10 to the power 1 next we have 100 that means 10 to the power 2 1000 10 to the power 3 then 10000 10 to the power 4 in this way we calculate the base value using the base value that means first i am getting the unit place that is 1 that is represented in the form of base is 10 to the power 0 tens is represented by 10 that means 10 to the power 1 Hundred places hundred that means ten to the power two. Thousand plus ten to the power three. Ten thousand plus ten to the power four. As it will move ten to the power five, ten to the power six. In this way, it will continue. Suppose we have a number one, two, three, four. How can we calculate the value of that number? How we are getting this? That means one into thousand. That means ten to the power three. Next, three ah uh, two into hundred. That means ten to the power two. Three into ten. 
that is 10 to the power 1 and finally 4 into 1 that is 10 to the power 0. That means we are getting 1 into 10 to the power 3 plus 2 into 10 to the power 2 plus 3 into 10 to the power 1 and 4 into 10 to the power 0. In this way we calculate the decimal numbers. Okay. Des using the decimal number system. Now in the digital system instructions are given through electric signals and variation is done by variation is done by the varying the voltage of the signal. Now as we know the computer can understand the two state that is the on state and the off state. That is the when the current passes and when it does not. When the current is passing that means it is the on state and when the current is not going that means it is the off state. It is difficult to have some different uh, voltages also in a single computer. So uh, single computer. So uh, other number system we have to use other than this on and off other variations of the voltage whenever the computer system is getting that time we need to use the other number systems to represent to represent that varying voltage values to make the computer understand okay so in the digital system uh, we need to use the different types of uh, number system other than only the on and off state. Now coming to the first uh, other than the decimal number system I told you many other number systems are there. The most basic number system that the computer understands is the binary number system. Now this binary number system has only two digit that is 0 and 1. Now the base of the uh, the binary number system is 2. Why 2 digits are there 0 and 1? So the base is 2. Each binary digit or bit, each binary digit is also called bit in binary system can be 0, either 0 or 1. A combination of binary digits can be used to represent different quantities like 1111 can represent a decimal number something. 1011 can represent the decimal number 11. In this way, different numbers, digital decimal numbers can be represented using the binary number system. Now, how the binary number system uh, calculated uh, are represented? Each position is represented in the power of 2. That means the unit place will be represented by 1. That means zero, uh, 2 to the power 0. Next the tens place will be represented by 2. That means 2 to the power 1. Next the unit place will be represented by uh, 100 place will be represented by 4. That is 2 to the power 2. In this way it will continue. That means it will start from 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4. But don't forget to start from the left hand side. Left hand side we have to start not from the right hand side. From the uh, representing, always the representation is done from the right hand side. That means the last number we will take first. Not the left hand side. The right hand side we will start from 2 to the power 0. Then 2 to the power 1. Then 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 3. In this way it will continue. Then the counting of the base value is very easy. Now next till this much this binary number system till this much we will learn today next class i will continue with the other two number system that is the octal number system and the hexadecimal number system and why this other number system came in action also we will learn about that and the rest part we have numericals over here that means conversion from the decimal number to the binary number system binary number system to the decimal number system these numericals are also there in the third class maybe we will continue with that numerical so we need some time to practice this kind of questions over here so numerical questions can come from this chapter so 
till that time we have our next class read till the binary number system of page 17 this is your homework everyone go through the important portions i told you the definitions whatever i explained over here go through the chapter read the chapter thoroughly okay till that time bye bye